How to remove blue balls today. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Strickland Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we ordered up something else for the golf cart. We got ourselves some armrests for here. Now, I don't know if I'm a fan of them or not yet. I'm thinking I'm not a fan of them, to be honest with you. Unless I can put them like this way, but then the seat might not fold. The reason why I'm not a fan of them is because I really don't want them to stick out further than the golf cart is because it'll end up taking them off. What the hell? They're not too bad though because they do give you a spot to rest your hand on. But the only thing I'm concerned about, like I said, is they stick way out. Like way out. I guess they don't stick out much further than the cart, do they? Eh, they might be okay. I would have loved to put them on the inside like that, but the problem with doing that is then the seat don't flip. So see, if I put them there, I don't think I'll be able to flip the seat. No go on that oh. Holy, and if I do that on here, I need to make sure they're right out of the way. Oh well, let's take a look at them. Not a very good friggin' job on the bottom side of it, considering you're gonna fucking see it. Come on, you should just return them. What kind of Mickey Mouse deal is that? Don't put anything on the bottom where you're gonna see underneath the cart. Like, why would you do that? Why would you want to finish that? That wouldn't make sense at all. That's a friggin' joke. Here, let me finish upholstering this for you guys. Oh, DeWalt stapler, by the way, you see that? That's right, don't get jealous. Have you ever tried to hammer something on foam? Yeah, that doesn't work too good. Well, I guess it's a little better. Why would they even do that? Let's mount these bad boys. So I'm gonna drill the first hole, and then I'll line the second one up. So the first hole, we're gonna try to make it so it's out of ways, but not too far. So there's my hole, so right about there would work. And that's about this far right here. So there's one hole, which was very easy. Let me sure it's sitting in the right spot. Just a oh, dick. All right, so that works. So we'll do another hole down there in the same spot, but we got to measure first. Let's give the measurement. So according to my measurement calculations, center to center is seven and a quarter. So we'll go measurement to measurement and we'll... Careful! And this will be center, seven and a quarter. So it'll be right here. Right here. What do you think? You think I'm right? Probably not. Careful! There we go. We need to figure out where we're going on that one. Let's just go over here like this. And if you look here, we got just where it starts to pivot in. We're right about that far. You get that? I hope so, because I don't. So right before it was, we're about that far. See, I'm right on the money. It's freaking hot out today. We'll get that one started. And we'll get this one started. There, well, get in there. There it is. Jim, friggin' decent. Hey, look at that, it's even 10 mil. Oh, I just took it out. Why wouldn't I take it out? Nothing like screwing the wrong way. Never a good thing. I'll be okay, don't worry. Whenever I'm upside down, it always messes me up, so I'm awful. Leave your thumbs down below if you're the same way. Come on. There's one. Some assembly required. There's two. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, don't mind that too much, I don't. So there we go, there's one side done. So let's get the other side done. Then we can kind of go from there. Stand up in the armrest, would you? That makes it for a tripod, it does. So we'll take out number two. Who does number two work for? Number one, that's you. And we'll do another eyeball lineup. So if I go edge a hole to edge a hole, we are seven and a half. Oh my God, they're not even the same for freak's sakes. Edge a hole to edge a hole, seven and a half. So right there should be. What do you think? Leave your comments below. All I have to say is thanks for, ow, that's hot. Thanks for sending a template to line them holes up. You know, this ain't the deluxe back seat. It doesn't have come pre-hold. So thanks a lot for including a, a lineup new dad. I know if it was mine, I would have. But I know for next time, I'll make my damn own because these are cheesy as They're not worth the money, I don't think. That's just my opinion on that one. Come on, get the thing. Oh my God, it's too hot for this. Can you believe it, it's a hand bombing. One, two, decent. Now, question is, does the seat clear? Oh yeah, it does. There you go, hey? Look at that. Oh yeah. They'll break off in about 1.3 seconds. Look at them. But I'll tell you right now, it's comfortable. That's what I do. So there you go, look at that. Cup holders, Jim. You need some of them, Gatlin, if you don't have them. Order them up, bud. All right, so if you're wondering why I removed blue balls off the cart, it's because I got a windshield for it. The only problem with this windshield is I forgot I notched the roof. I lowered the roof, so guess what? That means the windshield 
ain't gonna fit right. So we're gonna have to cut the windshield or do something with it. We'll figure it out together. I really don't wanna cut the top off, but we might just have to do that. I'm thinking, Frank. I don't have to take much off, so I might be able to just kind of cut that with a hacksaw just enough to get it into the roof. But I'm not too worried about that. What I want to show you is I think they're all different. This is for the easy go TXT. So for your, you know, your president or your other ones, it might be different, right? But this one here comes with a stainless steel bolt. So it goes washer, comes with a round rubber grommet, which goes in between and then a washer and a nut. So that's how it goes on both sides. And that kind of gets you held up and lined up. It comes down pretty close to the hood, so it's not too bad. These things, which just kind of snap on the bars and they slide over the Lexan to hold it tight. But remember, peel back the plastic before you put these on because you won't get them off after. I'm just gonna slide them down like that. Oh, I might have to get some lube. That's pretty friggin' tight, Captain. Technically, some people, would put these on the windshield and then snap the windshield into place, which would work too. And that might be what I need to do. So we're gonna loosen this nut back off and just pull the windshield out a little bit and see if we can't do that. Yeah, cause this thing is tight. We'll pull this side off, careful. Put this where it needs to be. Slap it over the windshield. Give it a few taps. There we go. And then we'll snap it onto the frame and we'll lose every piece of thing we got. Where the f did that stuff go? There's that. There's that. There's a washer. And now we need one more washer. So we didn't lose too much, I guess. Just a little bit. Why wouldn't we? So now we gotta try to get this in here and then back into the hole wherever it went. Careful. Oh, careful. Feel for it. It's gotta be right there. Where the hell is it? There it is. Okay. So there we go. And actually I'm gonna leave the washer off because then it's not sticking out. It looks a lot better. So that wasn't bad. Did you see that? Probably didn't see a damn thing did you why would you that stuff's from rattling that's what that's for i think i don't know i could be wrong i've been wrong before so let's do the same thing we'll take that off and we'll take this right out this time and we'll undo this because that way we don't can lose everything there that would have been the smart thing to do first so we'll pull this off <clears throat> maybe oh is that old there it goes okay we'll take it off the plexi how far down do we go how about that far right about there we'll hit it on like that Snap it in like that, and we'll put the fucking bolt back in with the washer fluid. Don't forget the washer fluid, Jim. There we go. And then we'll put this back on without the washer because it looks better. Perfect. Yeah, we did. So now this goes up like this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. This goes up like this, and as you can see, I'm only off by a hair. So if I get that up and trim it, she'll be mint. Friggin' right, it will be. So I might just have to go just a little bit and then she'll fit right in oh wouldn't i perfect perfect Get this around there like this oh yeah perfect perfect decent 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 now all we gotta do is take the inside off oh look at that captain but there you go smoked windshield for the easy go let's loosen the roof off and freaking try it out see if i can get her to go up there Ooh, let's make my hair stand up. And what size is this? Bigger. There we go. Loosen this off. Got a guy coming look at these and he's coming from Toronto. These are nice. They stick out way too far. I'm gonna end up breaking them off. So anyways, I lowered the roof. Remember I gave the roof the down slope? Now the windshield won't shut because I forgot about it. So I'm gonna see if I can lift the roof up and shut it and then put the roof back down. My GoPro is probably gonna go on overheat any second. It's the only problem with GoPros, they don't like the heat. Especially when you have them in the medium mod. All right, so there we go. Down, and it's tight, real tight. And there you go, look at that. That's friggin' awesome. Friggin' right, look at the inside view. Even awesomer, eh? Decent, no more friggin' hair back blowing bills of. That makes one hell of a seal along there with it like that. Just wanted to add to the video here real quick. I drilled those holes down and dropped it down. If you have a TXT and you wanna drop the roof in the front to give it the, like, the slope down look. Three inches and a stock windshield will still work. At the bottom holes, all you gotta do is come down three quarters of an inch and drill a new hole. You still have clearance along the hood and it shuts with a three inch drop and fits nice and tight. There you go. So I just wanted to add that to the end of the video. I couldn't stop unless I made that work. So it works great. That's what you do. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. Let me know what you think of the mods on the golf cart. So we got even more into this golf cart now. I've got somebody coming to look at Decent on the weekend, which is good. And we'll see if we'll let him go.
going to be tough, but we'll have to see. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me, not doing anything I ain't doing. Thanks for coming along with this. And until next time, love y'all, and you know what to do for now.